Hey Chiquis, okay today we're doing an Egyptian Nights Manny. It's kind of long, so you might want to pause right now and go and get a cup of tea and then come back to me. Okay, let's get into it. I really hope you like it. So the background in this Manny is done with a water marble. I'm starting off by painting all of my nails with Picture Polishes Pharaoh, which is one of their new shades. Then we are going to, we're going to be water marbling with that as well, along with Bohemian and then a new collab shade which is called Karma, which is a collab shade with Sveta Sanders. And then the final uh, polish is Nebula, also a collab shade with the Nail Polish Project. Now, as I said before, we're doing a water marble background and it's very similar to my water marble painting, water marbles, <laughs> sorry, a bit of a mouthful there. Uh, so there's really no rules. You can just do whatever you like. Just whack your polish into the water. Remember, it has to be room temperature water. It doesn't have to be special water though. Uh, and then just move it around. Now with the Nebula one, which is not a new polish, it's not a new sh uh, collab shade. It was released a little while ago, but it is a collab shade, as I mentioned before. Uh, because it has glitter in it, it, it doesn't um, tend to water marble as well as the others and dries a lot faster. But, you know, this is fun. Do exactly what I just did and you won't have any problems. As always, a little bit of cleanup using my non-acetone remover and one of my brushes. This is the, one of the Revlon brushes. Now, in order to paint the Egyptian scenery, what I'm using is acrylic craft paint. Uh, I'm just using like a flesh-coloured one, a metallic gloss. This is, I know I've said before, I don't norm, normally use gloss um, paints, but for this particular instance, it's the only one I had in gold, so that's why I'm using that. Uh, and white, and I'm also using a teensy little bit of black as well. Now I'm only painting this on two of my nails because I've only water marbled two of my nails. The other two nails just have three coats of Faro uh, over them, my, my pinky and my index. So for the scenery, we're starting off with like a sandy kind of thing at the tips of each of my nails. And then we're doing triangles to signify the pyramids. So just draw a couple of triangles. Uh, I'm doing only two because I could only really fit two on this particular nail. I want, and I wasn't going to be doing a pyramid on the other nail. So that's why I decided to do two. Now, as you can see, I'm putting a line. I'm using the gold polish, uh, the gold polish, the gold paint. Uh, to put a line uh, between the two so that one looks like it's in front of the other and then to make them look more three-dimensional what you need to do is draw a line just off center from the point of the pyramid and what that does and then uh, it, it actually makes it look a bit more three-dimensional and if you keep sort of building up the shade on one side like it make it a little bit darker on one side it'll actually start to look three-dimensional it's very cool I think I learned this in art class at school. It's very, it's fun. Once you get the hang of it. It's not as hard as it looks. It really isn't. Then using the same principle as you did to make the uh, pyramids look a little bit more three-dimensional, you'll do the same thing at the very front of the pyramids and on the other nail as well to make the sand look like it's in front of the pyramids. I hope this makes sense. Maybe I should just be quiet and let you watch. I'm sorry, I apologise. Okay, so now that's over, we're going to add a little bit of white. Um, we're going to add a star and, some, and a couple of little dots, really, really tiny ones, 
in the background to make it look like a night sky. And if you get through all of that, I do apologise for this being so long, I'm going to go ahead and top coat using Picture Polish's Gloss on Top. And that's it. I really hope you like this one. I'm so sorry again for it being so long, but I'm really proud of you for sticking around. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.